Well, viewers, welcome back to the South by Southwest channel. Uh, if you recall the last episode, we were talking about rubbing this out and painting it, rubbing it out and painting it. Well, I decided just to go ahead and rub it out one more time on the top uh, with some 1500 and just rub it out until all we got all those dimples, pimples, whatever you want to call them, out of the paint. So we're getting a reflection just right. You can see there's no dimpling whatsoever looks good that's the way it looks out through the whole bike so it's it's basically ready for final paint well viewers I was just getting ready to start taping out this candy orange and change of plans we're still going to do this stripe like i said on this top bar all the way across but this one instead of going here we're going to go outside the box to there and then we're going to put another one from here all the way down to the end so that way we'll have one continuous stripe all the way through the bike on the top and almost all the way through up here and then i think with the uh the pearl copper and I also ordered some uh, some yellow uh, candy gold which has metal flake in it I ordered some of that too so I might be putting some of that into the bike well viewers I got this thing pretty much blocked out uh, we said uh, this is the right side if you remember I cleaned up the left side because it was going to show more I decided to go ahead and clean up these lines on the copper orange in here and up in here kind of clean them up clean up the lines and this is all taped out this is ready for the stripe all along through here and all down through there so almost got it all done i just got to finish up a little bit on the other side then we're ready to spray this with the candy orange watch out mugs you're always in the way buddy come on come on and then we're going to touch up this little bit in here too but the rest of that's good because I touched that all up before so all I gotta do is tape this out a little bit and finish taping this out and, uh, and a little bit more blue tape and we're, we're good hey how about we just leave a blue tape bike <laughs> so anyway we're getting ready to shoot this candy orange get this candy orange done let it sit for a few days and uh, we can rub it out and then tape it all out and then get ready for the next step because I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose some of this this yellow in it's just depending on how I'm going to do it and I got an idea uh, if you remember putting on that candy orange the first coat you put on it turns gold the next one turns copper and the next one turns the candy orange what I'm thinking about doing is spraying this where it's gold and then the next time I paint it with the uh, orange I'll pick it up right about here and paint it out and it'll be copper and I'll pick it out right about here and then paint it out so basically it's going to rainbow out to a gold. I'm truly sorry for all my viewers to put you through all this boring stuff about painting but this is a custom paint job that I'm doing so I thought I'd share it anyway uh, regardless how boring it is but once it's all completed you're gonna really like what you mm -hmm. see he's my best friend he's with me all the time he's always watching over me always laying in my way when i'm trying to paint i gotta lock the, <laughs> i gotta lock the door <laughs> so he won't get in the way of being painted and that he'd be a yellow dog right now well viewers that's all the tape that I put on it and this is the end result for the stripes uh, all the candy orange stripes are done now so you kind of see how that fades into the gold that's kind of what I was looking for so I'm real happy with the uh, stripes I uh, got all the stripes, all the lines nice on the, on the front, the ones I did in the front look real good. 
how it fades out it fades out back here so uh, now we got to figure out what we're gonna do with this yellow paint um, it's you can see some of the white showing through in a few spots uh, I think I can just spot shoot this and uh, rub it out that's what I'm thinking but maybe I should just tape out all this orange and uh, shoot another coat of paint on it and rub it out and then we have to figure out what we're gonna do to enhance this yellow a little bit so uh, I bought some some copper find it candy gold candy gold here it is sparkle pearl copper now this is a uh, an effects paint it's not an actual paint it's an effects paint meaning that you paint your surface like in this case I got a base coat yellow and when you shoot this uh, sparkle pearl copper it comes out kind of like clear coat and this is the end result I like it well viewers we got this frame and metamorphosis it's curing we can't really do much with it until everything's perfectly cured and that's part of the problem of this project with this paint it takes so long for it to dry before you can actually sand on it and do anything with it but it's tough paint tough enamel paint and that's what I wanted on the bike that way if you get scratched you can pretty much polish it out with some of these fast drying paints you get a scratch on it you want to rub it out forget it ain't gonna happen you're gonna have to touch it up where the uh, thick enamel paint is a little bit tougher and it polishes out much better than some of these fast drying paints but that being said I've been working on I got two coats of paint on the turn knuckles I got two coats of paint on the brake bands I got one coat of paint on the front end I have one coat of paint or two coats of paint of uh, primer on the brake bar so we want to try and get these painted up. We still got to do the motor plate yet. We still got to do the steering column and the steering column mount. Uh, I was going to sand this down separately and paint it separately and then put it on the bike. But um, you have to fight with it too much because everything wants to move around on you. So it's probably be, be better to mount it back onto the bike where it's solid where you can sand on it and not have it moving around all, all over the place. So that's why we're, that's why we're going to approach this. So we need to get the frame done first, completely done. And then we can put this on. So this is, I'd say, is halfway there. The frame's halfway there. And we got all these parts to do, plus we got a whole bunch of other parts that need to be done, the uh, driving hubs, things like that. And that's about well, it. Viewers, I ordered uh, some of this uh, pearl copper. I ordered one can and to see how it went on, I liked it. So I went ahead and ordered two more cans and I just got the shipment in today and only got one can. And I just ordered two more cans this, today because I need at least six cans to do the whole bike. So this is not good news that I only got one can. So I gotta go and check my order to find out why I only got one can and see what they charge me. If they charge me for two cans, I gotta get a hold of them and find out why I only got one can. Well viewers, I just got offline. Um, I just checked. Uh, my order shows two, or, uh, two of these being ordered, but it only shows one being shipped. And it only shows one being charged to my to my credit card so they only charged me for one and they only sent me one so I sent them a message to find out 
well, I only got one. And I told them that I'm going to need a total of six cans altogether. So hopefully this doesn't mean that this is unavailable. I don't know. Um, if we get to the point where it's unavailable, I'm screwed. Because this, this is not enough. Two cans just ain't going to get it. I need six cans. So we'll see what the, what kind of well, response I get. We got our second coat of paint on this front end. And uh, we also got the brake lever. We got the first coat of paint on that. And it came out really nice. No dimpling in it. Very little. Uh, we got a lot of dimpling in this. Uh, I just don't understand this, uh, this rustling paint. Every time I've used it, I've had the same problem. Dimpling. I, my, my advice to you people out there, if you're going to paint something and you're thinking about using the rustling, find something else uh, it's just horrible to work with it takes too much time because you know if you got to rub it out every time you put a coat of paint on it you got to let it dry completely and that takes 24 hours and actually in reality it, it actually takes three days before you can actually really do some wet sanding on it so it's a real bummer paint to be working with would have known that I would never pick this paint I would pick something else but being it's already on and we're kind of stuck with it get out of there uh, we have to work with it so we got this bulk old pearl copper we got two in the pipeline we have two on hand so that's four I'm gonna order two more today on two separate orders and once those shipped and I know I got six in the pipeline, then I'll probably start using this. So then I'm not going to use this, so I know I got to get at least six cans of it. So we've been working on this other stuff. So if it turns out where I can't use this because I can't get enough of it, then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to not only rub this out, but I'm going to have to polish it out. Now how I polish out my paints is I use um, polishing compound with toothpaste, 50-50. And I mix it into a paste and I use that to rub out the paint. And believe me, it works beautiful. Makes the paint look so shiny, it looks like it has a clear coat on it already. So that's what we'll have to do. That'll take up a hell of a lot more time. Uh, if I can do the pearl copper, then all I have to do is rub it out and then shoot on the pearl copper and then put on a clear coat and that's and it's done so that's kind of where we're at so meantime i'll just keep moving on these parts tomorrow this will be ready to uncover and go ahead and start ta green taping out the frame and start painting the frame again get the get the frames finished up try to get all this stuff done real pain in the butt taking a a lot longer than I thought it would take. Well, viewers, it looks like we got an answer from Custom Paints. Uh, it took them a little bit longer than 48 hours, but they apologized for the delay in the response. Apparently, it's an oversight. Uh, it's happened to me twice. So, they're sending out another can, which is fine. I got enough on order right now. Uh, I have four on hand. There's six more coming. I think I'm going to end up with 10 or 11 cans, and that's fine. Too much is just enough. That's the old saying. So, it doesn't look like it's a uh, supply problem or unavailable type of problem. It's just a problem at their facility. So, that's good news. So, we can start using well, this stuff. Well, I've been working on this front piece because i got to have this done with the frame, main frame. And I got this... Um, like three coats of paint on it. This has pretty much three coats of paint on it. So they're up to about the same amount of coating. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to touch up, you know, because I rubbed it out and some of it came through. So I'm going to touch up those spots, let it dry real good, and then rub it out again. And I decided to do the same thing with the mainframe. I'm just going to go around and touch up the spots and let it dry 
and then rub out all those spots until we get it work uh, till we got it perfect then we can start with our sparkle pearl copper and you see I have four cans of it right now I got two cans today I got five more in the pipeline so I have nine cans so that should be enough to do four to five coats of that on there so I know what it looks like with three coats it looks pretty good but I haven't done the four or five coats. I'm going to try them four to five coats and see how it comes out. I think it's going to come out really, really cool. So that's where I'm at. I'll update again once I get this all painted up with this pearl copper. So you'll be able to see what it's going to look like with four to five coats. Well, viewers, I got the sparkle pearl copper put on this uh, front end. I did uh, four coats and I put three coats of clear coat over it. Uh, you can see all the sparkles in it and you also can kind of see like as like a pearl color to it like a pearl yellow now this paints effect works best on darker colors it's not really meant for lighter colors like this but I wanted to change this yellow a little bit I want to enhance it somewhat now what's really cool about this and I'm going to pick it up you can kind of see that what it looks like in the sunlight but when you get in the in the shade it looks yellow and at night it looks like a pearl yellow so this is perfect this is what i want as yeah, it'll be good for the for a show I hope i'm pointing this camera in the right place because the sun's reflecting off my, my led so that's kind of what it looks like give you a better idea well viewers as you can see I'm starting to tape out the candy orange stripes that I just put on unfortunately for me I went to reposition the tape when I was doing this side and you can see the paint is look at that just pulling the tape up pull the paint up I didn't put primer on it that was a big mistake on my behalf so what this means basically is I'm gonna have to redo these stripes um, so what I decided to do for right now is go ahead and finish taping it all out and um, we'll uh, go ahead and sp spot paint this and get all the regular paint taken care of then we'll pull up the tape and see if the damage is now when I did this stripe this is always on primer so all this is good it's just from here to here from here to here and the back side on both sides. This is gonna to have to be sanded out and retaped, primered, and then redone. Unfortunately, I don't have any more of the candy orange, but I do have the candy gold, and I do have some um, copper paint that I can use. I, I know I can fix this. No big deal, we'll fix it. But it's just another delay. So the plan is we're going to go ahead and finish taping this out, touch up the yellow paint, get that all taken care of, then pull up the tape, see what the damage is, and, you know, just start sanding it off and smooth it out and start over again. What else can you do? So it was a mistake on my behalf. I wasn't thinking. I was anxious, and that's what happens when you get anxious. Well, viewers, it looks like this candy orange is now available again. So I placed an order for two more cans, so that way I can finish up the bike with the stripes the way I want to do it. So um, when it gets here, then we'll finish up those candy stripes in the main frame. Meanwhile, we'll just keep working on the small parts and get all the small parts well, ready. Well, viewers, as heartbroken I am about having to redo all these stripes and can't seem to get past this big frame 
I decided to spend some time getting some of these small parts all done. And uh, I got all the driving, uh, the two driving wheel hubs are done. The sprocket driving wheel uh, hub is done. Uh, I'm gonna do these in black. And then we're gonna put the sparkle pearl copper on there to give it, and it's gonna look really cool. Well, viewers, there's been a change of plans on how we're going to uh, address this frame from what I said earlier. What we're gonna do is I went ahead and taped off all the stripes that didn't primer on. These are all have primer on it, so that's good. We're, we're in good shape with those. It's just the ones I added. I didn't put primer on it. I don't know what I was thinking. I was rushing. And like I said in the very beginning of this, is patience is a virtue in order for it to come out right. And uh, it didn't come out right because the paint was pulling off. So I put tape on it. Uh, and I'll let it sit on there for another day or two. And I'm going to pull it all off. And hopefully it'll pull up all the loose paint. If it doesn't, then what I'll do is I'll put some uh, duct tape on there. Cut some strips. Or tear some strips and put them on there and pull it up and whatever paints left over we'll just have to feather it in and then uh, block it out repaint it then after we get the stripes all finished then I will do the touch up on the yellow because I'll probably have to do those edges no no doubt so that's how we're gonna approach well, it viewers I honestly believe that things happen for a reason and if this paint didn't start coming off you know, if I didn't have that problem, I probably would never have checked to see if any of that candy orange was available. It is now available, so I ordered two more cans. So now I'll be able to do these stripes really nice. I'll be able to incorporate more of that candy orange into the bike. Um, I got some ideas, and uh, I'll unveil them as we go along. So, so we're going to try and get this thing all taken care of and uh, get this frame out of the way. Well viewers, I pulled up that green tape and it took up most of all the uh, the paint, which is nice because it'll make it a lot easier for me to sand it down. And so um, the spots that didn't come up, I put some uh, duct tape on it and I'm gonna let that sit on there overnight and pull it off tomorrow and hopefully it's gonna pull up the rest of the paint. If I don't have to sand that much, the better. Because this is pretty smooth. It's down to almost original paint. So that's good. That's what I want. Just like this. If I can get the rest of it like that, then I can fix this in no time. Uh, I won't have the candy orange until next week. Like uh, the 4th, between the 4th and the 8th. So... This gives me time to go ahead and get this side done and uh, the other side. So uh, we'll see how this works. This works good. Then all I've got to do then is just kind of sand it, tape it out, primer it, and wait for the candy orange. Meanwhile, we're moving on to the motor plate. It needs a little TLC. Uh, I had to plug the two holes that were here for the... Uh, external battery for the uh, lighting system. We're going to have to figure out a different place to mount it. Um, and I want to channel this out a little bit. i got a couple lines here. I want to kind of channel these out uh, so that way if the chain wants to float around a little bit it's not going to be hitting on the plate. And there's some there's some uh, edges here that need to be uh, filed down and um, then we need to primer it and paint it. So the only things we have left to paint, because I got I got the uh, brake lever done. Let me widen this out. I got the brake lever done. I got the front end done. I got the turn knuckles done. The turn knuckles, they're ready to be assembled. Let's see this one. Now I marked them right and left so I know which ones is which. So this is the right, so this would go over here. Rather over here, because even though we're facing the bike, so I gotta bolt those up. So we'll probably be doing that. Whoa, almost fell. Ah, guess what? It was Mugsy. 
laying right under my feet. I stepped on them. The thing about pit bulls, they never feel any pain. Unless you want to cut his toenails. And I said, oh. So, uh, yeah, so the only thing we got left is the uh, steering column, the motor plate, and the steering wheel. Because I'm going to do a custom paint job on the steering wheel. And, of course, the main frame. And then we can start, actually, start assembling this thing. I'll be glad when we get to the assembly part because that will be a lot more fun. Well, viewers, I'm getting ready to pull up this duct tape. And I'm hoping it's going to pull up the rest of that candy orange. So I don't have to do any real uh, hard sanding. And uh, But before I do that, I just want to let everybody know I could have just edited this out and just fixed it and just you know not recorded you know that I made the mistake but I like to keep everything realistic like the frame it took me like a month to get this thing welded up uh, like the uh, motor kit the new motor we're putting in it the brushless motor the 48 volt 1800 watt Ford reverse the trouble I had bench testing that and uh, all the crap I had to go through to get the uh, the new controller for it because I had a defective controller and a bad uh, invert switch so I try to keep everything realistic in fact I do keep it all realistic so what you see is what you get so that being said I'm going to pull up this tape and I'm going to show you the results of that. Well, viewers, we're getting ready to pull off this uh, duct tape and see if uh, this help me, helps me out. It should pull up most of it, I'm hoping. No luck there. Yeah, a lot of luck there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, just right here, it just isn't pulling up, so we'll put a little bit more right there. I'll put another new piece there. Let's see what kind of luck we have here. Pretty good, not bad. Oh yeah. That's tremendous. We're gonna put a little bit more on. Oh yeah. So, very little to sand off, very little. So what I think I'll do is I think I'll just uh, put a couple more strips on there. Just uh, something about that one. like about a half inch now so some of this shouldn't peel off like this shouldn't peel off because that's on uh, primer paint but the stuff around it's not so So press it on there real nice and hard. Get it to stick real good. And another half inch here. You can't get that to come off. A little bit better. And try to get some of these, some of this off. So there you have it. If you have this problem and you don't want to have to sit there and sand and sand and sand to try to get this stuff off, you can uh, use tape. Now the green tape worked pretty good pulling it off, but uh, 
but this worked the greatest. The duct tape. That worked really the best. There's something here I want to try and get off too. The more I can get off with the tape, the better. There's a little bit right in here I want to try and get off. And a little bit right in there. Let's see if I can press it out real good. Let's, let's see if we can get some of that off too. That's set for a couple hours and come out of here and pull it up and uh, then we should be able to just sand it out and uh, block tape it, primer it, and it'll be ready for the candy orange when we get it. Then we'll do the other side. Well viewers, it seems like this duct tape is working out real well. So there you have it. If you run into this problem, you know what to do. It worked out real well for me. It took out at least 99% of it, or 98% of it, and I'm just taping it up to try to get that other 2% out so I don't have to do any hardly any sanding, and uh, or light sanding, and I'll save myself a bushel of time. Speaking of which, time. I'm running over that 30 minute mark, so we're gonna wind down this episode, or this part 14, and if you like what you see and you're first time visitor and you're not a subscriber subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be notified to keep up with this project so you can see what how this turns out until next time as I always say if I can do it you can do it better